Hello, welcome to the video. I'm going to show you how to create dynamic highlighting and dynamic lists in Excel. We're going to start by setting up a conditional formatting, new rule, use formulas, and we'll set this top fake part number cell. We'll set it equal to the yellow cell at the top of the column, and we'll change this locking range so that as the formula moves down the rows, it will change the reference of what it is comparing to that top yellow cell. So uh, now we'll copy this to the rest of the rows, copy and paste special formats. That'll copy the conditional formatting. And now when we put a part number in the top yellow box, it will highlight all the matching part numbers in this range of data. All right, I'm going to show you a little trick here. I'm going to do uh, right click and view code to get to the VBA worksheet. Uh, we have it on worksheet and selection change and I'm going to put it in here range B1 equals selection dot value that's really really simple now any part number that we click it'll highlight all matching part numbers that match that so it'll highlight the cell that you clicked on and any other cell that matches that so I'm going to comment this out just put an apostrophe in front of it and turn that off Okay, let's set it up so it works where you search with a partial string. Um, we'll use the match function, which will find a match uh, as long as it ends in an a asterisk. So we'll use match, and we'll use the yellow cell, uh, lock that range, comma, the cell to the left of this formula, comma, zero. Zero is exact match only. And then we'll manually put in an asterisk after the... Uh, yellow cell here by doing and and then quote asterisk quote and now you can see that it matches everything starts with XYZ so let's uh, try it out and you see some error results for the ones that don't match so let's uh, kind of void them out by using is error so if it is an error it returns a null value if it's not an error it returns the result of that formula and uh, you can pause the video to see these formulas and if you comment or email me I can send you this worksheet as well okay we're gonna set up a second conditional formatting using a formula again this time we're gonna look at the column C which is that number one I'm gonna unlock that range and set it to yellow and copy these formatting copy this formatting down to the rest of the data list and now you can see uh, when we put the beginning of a matching string in this yellow search box it will find matching uh, result alright so let's set it up so an exact match will be green and a partial match will be yellow um, I'm gonna find the conditional formatting that we had set up earlier and change that rule to make this one green and it needs to be on the top because both of these conditions will be true in the case of a complete match so the uh, green one needs to be on top so it overrules the yellow try it out yep it works okay so now I'm going to show you how to make dynamic lists because who wants to scroll through and find what's highlighted in a 60,000 row sheet right okay so I'm adding a little uh, trickery here to differentiate each occurrence of each value by putting a numeric value to the row so that it'll never duplicate so basically I'm adding uh, row divided by 10 to the result of 1 that was uh, calculated in the match formula and if it is a error or basically if it doesn't equal 1 I'm just gonna make it null so uh, there we go now just set up a little grid and one through whatever we'll put one more formula here I'm looking for the small the smallest occurrence in this range uh, so comma and then I'm referring to this one so it'll find the first smallest then the second smallest then the third smallest occurrence and again we have to is error to clean this up 
because we don't want these errors showing. There we go. All right, perfect. Now we're going to use the index match. Uh, you could use a VLOOKUP if the data you were looking for was on the left, but actually the data we're looking for is on the right. Um, so we use index match and it can go to the left to return your value. If you don't know how to use index match, you can check out one of my other videos uh, to describe that. And there we go. So also now it's searching and returning the result of the null in that list. So we want to uh, get rid of that possibility. So if it's null, just return null. Don't do the index match search. And there we go. Let's return the uh, number that's shown on this part number list in case that was some relevant data that you needed to have. Using the same method, index match, and then we'll need to uh, null it out if it's a null value. Nothing new here. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so now by putting in partial result, you could return theoretically the whole list. If everything started with XYZ and you put in XYZ, this will show you the entire list. We'll copy this formula down into more rows so you can get an idea uh, that it is expandable. And we can actually hide the original list because we don't need it anymore. And we can hide these cells. And we're done. Look at this. Now to show the whole list, show the whole list of everything that starts with a 5 after the XYZ. Everything that starts with a 5, 1. Everything that starts with 5, 2. Whatever you want to see. Alright, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you want to buy some advanced spreadsheets, I sell them on eBay. I got my feedback up here for you to peruse through. This is just the last 200 I got uh, feedback for. So email me if you want a copy of this workbook for free. I'll send it to you, no problem. And uh, hit me up on eBay if you need some advanced spreadsheets. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.